In today's Bruce tale, Bruce is hungry for monkey meat. Let me describe the situation. This story is about a sociopathic narcissist named Bruce. Sorry, Brucey boy, but you had it coming. For context, I didn't know about any of the stuff that happened with the last story at the time. I wasn't new to the group, but I certainly wasn't a veteran, like some of the others. So Bobby has decided to run a new game for a Pathfinder group. The game is Serpent Skull. So I'm replaying a past character, a very large barbarian woman who is, quite obviously to everyone but herself, giant blooded. Bruce is playing a rogue who he has described as a muscle bound hunk, despite being all dex, no flex. My friend Xavier is playing as a Vanera monkey people ranger, and is the party's guide, a fairly good dude. Todd, from the previous story, is the party's knowledge monkey, a bomber alchemist, and a fish out of water type, like most of the party, apart from Xavier's character. The game, for context, begins with the party being shipwrecked on a remote island densely covered in jungle. Things are off to an alright start. Only a few threats to other characters from Bruce. So far, so good. Tragedy strikes when after being ambushed by natives, Todd is knocked unconscious and nearly dragged away. Rushing to help, Xavier manages to down the natives dragging him away and drags Todd halfway back to camp before being struck down by more islanders waiting in ambush. The party successfully knocks out and takes out a few of the islanders repelling them. The party is left trying to figure out what to do with the loss of the party's guide and a dear friend of our group. Suddenly, Bruce chimes in and we all wish he didn't. I want to eat Xavier's brains. Since in my culture, monkey brains are a delicacy, he declares proudly to the utmost horror of the party. Most of the party is too stunned to respond. Myself and another player are horrified enough to say, No, what's wrong with you? We aren't running out of food. In fact, it's barely a concern. He wants to eat our friend and guide's body because... Tasty? Bruce sees that no one is on his side and starts trying to convince the party that it was a good idea. It even goes as far as to say, I talked to him. I knew him better than anyone. It was what he would have wanted. When this fails, he also tries. He's not human. It's not cannibalism. Xavier has been silent this entire time, refusing to speak because he was in character dead and wanted to see how things played out. Bruce then argues, If you don't let me eat Xavier's dead character, then you are impressing me and my culture and not letting me roleplay my character. Another player finally steps up and starts arguing. By this point, the argument is half in character, half out, and has been going on for 15 to 30 actual real life valuable minutes of a session. I decide, forget this, and say to the GM, that I take Xavier's corpse away, and while everyone is arguing, I give him a proper cremation. This makes Bruce explode. He starts declaring, I will end your character in their sleep and destroy your axe. My character was a lumberjack slash woodworker who built the party's shelters and urn, in which she kept her late father's ashes. She was traveling far overseas to find a beautiful place to scatter his ashes far from the frozen wastelands of her home. This violent outburst continued for a while, but when Bruce realized that he most certainly could not win in a direct confrontation with my character, and my character also had the loyalty of the party due to not being human trash, it meant that he couldn't just off me in my sleep either. 
and so he decided to sulk and stew instead. I wish I could say this story ended there. But no, Bruce had to keep going. Later on in the campaign, after Bruce's in-character partner Carl died, Bruce's character somehow descended further into madness and started making random threats to other players threatening to take out their characters. He also started hoarding the party's wealth and started spending it, as he declared, for the party, on the most overpriced version of all the ones he could. Anyone who found loot and didn't declare it to him in character would be immediately since motived on because they were obviously hiding something, basically meta knowledgeing to the max. Xavier fell victim to this with his new character. Bruce angrily started making more motions and talking about how he not only should, but would TPK the party when they were asleep. Xavier, having enough, whispered to the GM, maybe we should just PK him. This set Bruce off yet again. He slammed his hands on the table as loudly as he could, and in the coldest anger he could muster, what did you just say? Xavier finally snapped and responded with, if you're threatening to take out four other PCs, then maybe, just maybe, it's you that's the problem. Before Bruce could respond, Bobby, finally having enough, declared session end and then walked out of the room. Bruce tried to apologize to Xavier afterwards, but then also tried to claim that all the in-character and out-of-character threats were just jokes, and that somehow all was forgiven. After a few more minor incidents, the game finally came to something resembling a happy ending for most of the party. This is the end of this story, but trust me, there are many more. I can see why some people say that Bruce is narcissistic. There is absolutely no reason to want to eat another PC's dead character, but because he has his mindset to it, he tries to push it and even makes up blatant lies just to create some false sense of support. Then to go further to suggest that he would TPK his own party in a cooperative game is complete madness. Even if he bites off more than he can chew, he still tries to be meta and say that everything was a joke, or part of his plans. It's really sad to see. What do you all think about this Bruce tale?